Okay, there's many different uh, ways to make a beat. Uh, there's many different ways to make like a sequence in Logic. Uh, one of the ways I use is Ultra Beat. I find it to be uh, pretty quick and effective. You can do a lot with it too. So, what it is, I'll just play this from the beginning. Got a nice sound in there, got some piano, right? So, I want a beat on it. What you do is wherever you use your sounds, some people have them in Finder, right? So find your sounds if that's where they are. I keep mine in here, browsers, media. You can drag and drop your stuff from Finder to here. You'll be able to put it in and just press, uh, press the space bar and be able to play all the things. Use the D-pad to go down. You get the sounds you want to hear and you can just drag them in uh, ultra beat or whatever you want to do with it so what you do is you open up ultra beat which is down here ultra beat all right let me do it one more time see this arrow down ultra beat go to stereo i'm gonna just open this right here and so this is what i got here um let me just check this out so i got a kick so this is how you do it. You find what you want in here, right? So I'm not gonna do it again because I found the ones that I wanted just in here, but I'm explaining it well. Say I want the kick, All right? I hear my beat. Play it one more time. So you hear that, you're like, oh, that sounds nice. Let me get some, let me get a sequence in there. Let me get some kicks, some snares and everything. So you find your kicks, whatever you want. All right, so I'm going to go to 808 Mafia Kicks. And be like, oh, this sounds nice. That sounds nice, right? And play it with the beat so you know what it sounds nice. Like that actually does sound nice. I don't know if I'm about to replace it with my kick or not, but that sounds nice. So now I heard it. I like it. What you do is you go and you click the one you want, right? So it can say clap, whatever. You can double click and change the name if you want. I'm going to leave it. But you go and click on the one you want. And you drag this into here. I'm not going to do it right now. But you drag it into there. Make sure all these are turned off. So this, see how it's turned on? Turn it off. These are all off right now. This looks like it's on, it's off. This is on, off. Turn it all off because it'll fuck with your sound. You can fuck with that after. But until you get the sound you want, leave it. Sometimes when you drag it in, it may not have the perfect sound as it does in here. Turn the volume up. Uh, fuck with this, the envelope. That is how the sound is released through here got the attack you got the decay um you know what i mean you can you change how it is uh so you can change the volume here sometimes this blue line will mess with you drag the blue line to where the and the red is wherever the red is and then you can just drag this and turn the volume up or down as well you can also turn all the volumes the master volume up in here or use two fingers slide up or down on here and it'll go up or down. All right, I think I had it wrong here. So you drag that in. All right, then you find an, uh, a snare. You go to your snares. Find the sound that sounds nice. So say I wanted that. You drag it in. Same thing. Turn off all these. You drag it in. And. Turn off the volume if you have to. Right? Uh, fuck with the envelope if you need. Make sure all these are off, including the arrow. Because the arrow means it goes into here, which does a bunch of other shit. Turn that off. And you just load them up. Rename if you have to. Whatever you put in this top one will go into your keyboard. See that? So right now it's down here. When I press H. But if you press X, it goes up. So 
So now you got your 808 up there and you can switch it with another one that I got loaded up. You know what I mean? I got this. I'm going to leave it here. But And then you can fuck with all this stuff on the inside if you need to. But uh, also, there's also plugins you can add on. But don't add on any plugins to this unless it's isolated. So unless you got one track, it says beat here, but say it was 808 and it just had the 808 in it, this one right here, then I could add some plugins to it. But if you do that, it's going to, without doing this, it's going to have everything with that same plugin, which is what you don't want. So if you want to isolate, open up another one by pressing Command D, you duplicate it, name it whatever you want, and then you could isolate your snares in, in there. But let me show you. So you get the sounds you want. Press full view. And this is like the sequence I must have had or maybe it's preloaded. Press two fingers down here. Press clear. Two fingers clear. So now you press this power. Press play. Now you get to see it. So now you get to plan out what you want. You know what I mean? Uh, you can change this resolution down here depending on what you want. You can go quicker. 32. See what I mean? Use a uh, see what I mean. Uh, you can even put your eight away here, but it's better to open up uh, this. You can fuck with the area however you want. Uh, if you wanted to, you could just place it in here, but it would be the same note every time. You know what I mean? But you go find this, and when you get the one that you want, you find where you want to drop it, right? So say I want to drop it, uh, hold on. say I want to drop it like right here, where this starts. You grab where it says pattern. You see where it says pattern? There's a little box next to it. This is drag to a range window. Click it, drag it in to whatever track you're uh, wanting to put it at. So I'm going to just put it here for now. Maybe I'll set it back. It just starts on the line. And let me just rename this to the Also, always make sure to turn it off in here because if you leave it on in here, it'll play continuous, continuously. So if you didn't want to drag it in, but you want to hear how it sounds with it, you can just leave this on right here and let it play. But if you don't want to hear it or don't want to have it like layered on as you're playing because you already dragged it in, like just turn it off because it's, it's just, just turn it off. See what I mean? So you got something there. And let's say you uh, you like that one. Okay, now I want to make something else. You can just go down. That's sequence one you got there. Right? Come down to the second one. And you can come make another one. So let's say you want to go back to the first for a sec. Come here. Copy it. There's something you could do. Go to the second one. Press paste. So now you got the second one loaded up. Uh, with the first already so now you can just add to it so let's say I just wanted to have this play uh, twice All right, so I'm just I, for now I'll just do this just drag it out twice and then uh, say I want the next one to have some hi-hats in it so now this is where you can press play you press two fingers if you want your options you got Every downbeat, yes, you press with two fingers, you can go every downbeat, every upbeat, every upbeat, 
uh, other options too, right? So you can look through those, see what you're looking for. Uh, I just want every downbeat. I just interfere with the other one, but now you see what I mean, right? So you can just drag it in. Uh, I'm not sorry, it's not a complete thing. Maybe on my next one, I'll put a complete one, or maybe do a, a part two. But this is just a quick one for uh, anybody that had any questions to it, right? So, just so you can hear this thing, so. And I'll just show you the one that I had in here before, actually. Might change it up, but it's pretty good. Alright, so that's just uh, like something you can do there. This is just one way of doing it. Uh, Ultra Beat has so many different things you can do with it. So I highly suggest, even if you're not going to use it as your sequencer, use it somehow. You'll you'll benefit from it, right? Because there's more you can do. You can alternate left and right uh, here also. Um, this has a lot of stuff. You got noise here. It could be kind of like white noise on sounds. Uh, there's just there's a bunch of stuff you can do with you can do with it so uh, if you have any questions just let me know but outside of that that is just a simple ultra beat tutorial